Okay, just a short thought for today, and that is this. When you're on top, work to stay on top. So let me talk about today. Today, I've sent the final version of my book back to the editor. So it's been through three read-throughs. So you do your first draft. It's gone through three read-throughs where it goes between the editor and myself. And each time you do that, it's incredibly arduous. I don't want to put you off writing a book. If you want to write a book, go for it. But even on the third read-through, as I was going through, 200 um, pages in the book, and each page would take me in anything between five minutes and, and 20 minutes to, to re-edit. And that's on the third read-through. So huge amount of time, huge amount of time. So yeah, it's been a really big weekend. I've sent the book off, but this is the point. Too often what we do is we send, we, we finish a big block of work and we celebrate and give ourselves a bit of a breather. Now, in me focusing on my book for the last, gosh, actually probably the last couple of weeks, but certainly over the last three, four days, absolutely solid. What that means is I'm a little bit behind in other stuff. My com communications on LinkedIn, catching up on some other emails, running the other sides, the other facets of my business. And even though you deserve a break because you've just finished a big block of work, because you're slightly behind in that other stuff, you need to keep that momentum going. And that's why I say, when you're on top, stay on top. So my day today has been focused on doing a boatload of other things to catch up. And when I'm caught up, then I have my breather because I'm having the breather at the right time. The other thing too is when you've just finished a big block of work, you know this feeling, you're pumped. Right, you've, you've got yourself in another rhythm where you're focused because you've been focused over subsequent days. You've honed the tools that you've got to, in my case, to proofread and make quick decisions about what I need to do because if I don't make quick decisions, I'm gonna become overwhelmed with the amount of work I've got to do. And use that rhythm, cash it in by catching up and getting on top of everything else. So that's the, that's the main tip for today. And I'm sharing it right now because, as I say, I sent in my book this morning. And I want to stay on top of these videos I've put together, these tips, because these videos I've put together underpin the tools and the techniques that have worked for me. And I need to reinforce them. It's a discipline thing. And I know there's something in it for you. So if there's... Anything in these videos you want to steal, steal them. But I had every excuse today to go, hey, today's been a mighty day. Got up at 6 a.m. or just before um, to make my wife a coffee. So I could get into work at 6 a.m. into the book. Did I say 6 p.m. before? Doesn't matter. 6 a.m. to get into the book. And it was five hours solid to get it finished by 11 because my editor is in Australia. So I had a couple of extra hours up my sleeve before she got up. So that was a block of work this morning. And, and you know this, right? What I thought was gonna be two and a half hours of work ended up being five hours of work. It's, it's always double or a little bit more than what you think. But the key thing is this, once I got the book in, I could have celebrated, but I was like, no, you gotta stay on top of it. Use the energy. I can relax later on tonight. Let's get the stuff I need to get done now. And one of them was making this video. And I'm pleased I've, I've done that. So if that's a standard that you want to adopt, then do it. When you're on top, stay on top. When you've built up that momentum, just because you finished a big piece of work, doesn't mean you can let the momentum go if you're going to get more out of cashing it in, which is what I've done today. I've cashed in that momentum against a whole bunch of other stuff to bring myself right back up to speed and feel like I'm on top of everything. Because the key thing is, when you feel on top of everything, you feel in control. And when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel anxious and all those things, for me, it's usually because I'm not in control of, of everything. Not in a control freak way, or well, maybe, but, but just, you know, I like, I like to just I suppose, feel like I'm in a position where I'm conducting things. 
that things are in a sort of a flow and I'm in rhythm with that. So anyway, let me wrap this up. Let me reinforce that final point and offer it to you because it might be something that works for you. When you're on top, stay on top. If you've just finished a big piece of work and you've got great momentum and energy, use that, flow into the next stuff. Know when you'll have a break, but the best time for a break might not be now. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll answer them. Um, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.